Joseph, everyone. Today we are going to look at something different. Today we're going to look at a light modifier, something that I actually haven't tried before. I mean, I have tried light modifier before, but not this specific one. Uh, what happened was that a friend of mine, Jane, she wanted me to get some fitness photos of her, and she sent me some sample photos. Uh, all of them are very harsh lighting, which is not a bad thing in this scenario because they want to show off like muscle definitions. So you kind of want some strong shadow. Uh, to really show off those, you know, um, shape and form. So I understand, but I wanted to take it up a little, little bit up a notch, you know, just try to make it even more different. Instead of just using a bare light with no light modifier, that's why you should use, you know, I should shoot various soft lights with a soft box or at least an umbrella. But this time I want to try complete opposite. I want to try to use bare lights, but with something to make lights even more focused, which is a snoot. What it is, is actually just a tube. If you look through it, you can actually see me in here. Hi. But what it can do is that it can make lights very focused, especially if you add a grid in front of it. So there's a hexagon grid right there. So this honeycomb grid can make lights even more focused. So I got this from Amazon for like $24. I will include the link down below. And it comes with one day shipping. The cool thing about this one is that it not only come with a grid modifier on the snoot itself, it also comes with like this color, um, different colors, like I guess uh, you can call them filters in front of it. So you're gonna add different color effects. I wish I've tried this, but I didn't get a chance because I was in a rush. And also I don't think that's the style that you wanna go for. But if you want to, you can actually add the color into the snoot and then you know uh, you can shoot some light color that's very very uh, focused on either the person or the background. So previously I have done something like this before, kinda. I shot with Stella about a few months ago with a makeshift cardboard box uh, that into either snoot or into a grid, like a really small kind of uh, opening with light. Uh, I wish I had BTS of that, but we didn't have any person, you know, there, so I didn't record any BTS. But the photos turned out amazing. Uh, I'm really happy with how it turns out, especially with what we were given. Uh, this time there's a difference. I actually have a specific tool to create this effect. For this photo shoot, I still use three lights set up. The snoot as the main light, and then two other flashes as fill light. At one point, I want to get a shot with a very strong silhouette. So I put the lights behind her to achieve that look. The two flashes as fill lights are not that strong, but I wanted them to be there so that the other parts of the photos are not too dark or completely disappear. Alright, that was a lot of fun. 
but it was my first time using a snoot in my photo shoot so i feel like i haven't explored like all the opportunity with it i want to try more to see what i can do especially with the color gels uh, but let me know if you have used this before or if you have any idea how else i can use this snoot leave a comment down below and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one